Hey guys, so we're back in the strength shed. I am joined by a very, very good old friend of mine. He doesn't look old, but he's probably the first oh. person that helped me with coaching and helped me as strongman. Nick McKinless, former Britain's Under 105 Strongest Man. Wow, yeah. Uh, professional stuntman, filmmaker, and you've really got into arm wrestling recently as well, haven't you? Just starting, but yeah, um, we'll see where it takes us. So we, we've trained a lot together in the past. It's been a few years actually since we've been able to train together. But um, Nick has been able to come down today. So we've got him in the strength shed. Coach H is over there, obviously working arms and chest like he always does. Looking, looking good. Uh, uh, it's, it's no coincidence, just Wednesday you come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nick started helping me. Actually probably took a reasonably talented youngster that didn't have a clue what he was doing probably made him go backwards a little bit to try and tidy up technique and stuff to, to then start progressing and you know a, a big kind of influence and help in my early stage in my strongman so it's cool to be training with him today we're gonna have some fun do some grip forearm arm wrestling -y stuff it's just a bit of a fun extra session really cool to have you down thanks and, man um, it's great yeah, yeah make sure you guys go and check him out because he's got a pretty awesome portfolio of titles and grip strongman you know the the stunt stuff that you've done is all pretty awesome as well i think so. i've forgotten most of it i mean <laughs> it's been so long since i've done any strength sort of competitions but yeah there's there's been a bit of history you there still sure. you still got some strength in in there somewhere i'm bit, sure i'm sure you're gonna show me up on some of these things today let's get on with it <clears throat> Let's get it quick. <laughs> That's some girls. Some girls, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm used to holding That's too thick much. things. You know? oh, That's yeah. too much. <laughs> I like thick things. <laughs> I told you I'd say something rude. You can go really heavy on it, so we'll easily do the stack. We've okay. got lots of reps, and all I do is just, I actually move through it, but I'm just wrist curling. Do you like thick things too, Lizzie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all over <laughs> especially in the head <laughs> already got a pump <laughs> uncle h oh coach h you are uncle h. he is uncle h to my kids that's i am i'm, I'm yeah. actually uncle h when the kids are around yeah. i used to call him <laughs> now this is uh the old school power power twisters um remember you used to get them and they were like a little spring yeah yeah, yeah. and you'd Squeeze them together <laughs> multiple times. It was probably one of the first things I ever bought exactly. from Argos. Is that a ball worker? <laughs> I think Hulk Hogan did this. <laughs> yeah. Well, these are kind of like the heavy duty versions yeah. now. This is from a company called um, Silla Rukov. And um, I think this is the 10 millimeter one. They do an 11 and a 12. Um, I'm at the moment trying to get it from this position rather than from the outside handles. So obviously, the further you move in, the less fulcrum you've got. So, I'd like to see if we can all do it. <laughs> I reckon we can. I don't know what it is, but show me, I'll give it a go. <laughs> so obviously there's yeah. a little bend in it, so. Yeah. There's, there's lots of ways you can cheat into it, you can kind of push through into it. Right. Or you can just And what have you got to do, touch them? Yeah, you've got to touch them. I'll just show you. So I just know it's going to be like incredibly so hard. Hold yeah, it yeah, high. Yeah, you know. <laughs> hold it high. Yeah. Push in. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Just so you go. Easy. <laughs> You'll do it. You'll do it. You'll do it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I can't even lift the bastard. <laughs> You'll do it. You've got a strong chest. Will I? <laughs> push it, push it hard. Really so, what hard. do you do? Out and then so out start and hard squeeze down. and squeeze in with your body. Okay. There you go. There you go. God's nice. sake, let's get it quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we might play with that. We've got it, mate. We've got it. <laughs> so we'll go. What else have we got down here? Oh, lots of stuff. Um, I've seen all this in that film. Is it sore or hostile? <laughs> <laughs> so, Tornado. It's not that kind of shed, mate. Supernado. <laughs> Um, you really full on into the arm wrestling at the moment. This is a can opener, so it's thick handled, easy kill bar, but it's got a cam in it. 
Um, so it makes it pull it out of your hands when you're curling. Okay. Really good for reverse stuff as well. And you can use it as triceps as well. Um, just standard kind of cupping handles. We've got a couple of different cool. ones. Um, a wrist wrench. Um, I think that's it. And obviously the country crush that we're going to... Do so. Can we do another set? I feel like my forearms are going to be really pumped up today. <laughs> so apart from training us, Nick, when we were going, you've trained some famous people as well, haven't you? Yeah, Tell us about uh, who have you, who've you trained on the movies. Yeah, quite a lot. Um, trained Anne Hathaway for uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Um, <coughs> trained Ray Fiennes for movies. Okay. Um, had a hand in training Brad Pitt at times. Um, who else have I trained? Emily Blunt, trained for Edge of Tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah there's a few, yeah. uh, few famous, <laughs> yeah. famous faces. What's the strongest celebrity you've trained? Ooh. Strongest? Mm. Um, <laughs> Not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That doesn't yeah. get cut from a movie. That doesn't get cut from a movie. Obviously, Lawrence. <laughs> um, I don't know. Not Anne Hathaway. Rafe a bit of a beast? He looks like he's a sort of one for effort. Effort-wise, yeah. I would say Rafe it probably wins for effort. Really? Okay, so I, I predominantly want a top roll. So I'm going to curl and come over and ever so slightly slide in my arm. So I'm not so much concentrating on rising because the handle doesn't affect you like that. It's more about the wrist curl and then a little bit of formation. So I'm just going to run through it. Kind of, and I'm far from an expert. <laughs> this is very new to me. So make sure you curl a little bit more. Try and get a little bit more of curling. That's it. That's it. Cut. I just do 10 push ups between each set. I would normally do like some tricep work, but I found that the act of doing push ups kind of has a fat burning effect as well. So, because you're actually moving your body through space. So. I just want to point out this is, you know, obviously harder for me. <laughs> So I'm just kind of just working on technique at the same time. And I know that arm wrestlers are gonna look at it and go like, that's terrible, but <laughs> I am new. And it is a makeshift setup, so. Training is training. Yeah, it's funny when you look at some of the top arm wrestlers and you see the different difference in technique. Well, you look at, you know, some would consider him number one right now, Devin Lerat. He's got a very basic setup. But he's the best. <laughs> yeah, he's extremely good at it. <laughs> just hovering off the box just because I can feel it burning my elbow. <laughs> the bar on your yeah. elbow? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same kind of handle, but you've got to really hang on to this one. Okay. Um, and I've just taken it down a little just so we get used to it. A bit more finger strength on this one? Yeah. You'll, you'll feel it's fine. It feels very similar to the last one. I feel like um, we've slightly brushed over Nick's stuntman career and just how big a deal he is in the world of stuntman, stuntmen, stuntman. stuntmanning. You do yeah. a lot of the coordinating, don't you? Mostly coordinating, um, you know, supervising, but um, moving now into sort of producing and directing my own stuff. So um, that's kind of the future for me, but it's hard to let go of stunts. Um, so, yeah, it's been 25 years. Um, Some pretty big roles as well. 50 plus movies over that, that cost over 100 million to be made. Yeah. So it's a lot of big movies um, over the years. Any particular favourites that stand out? I can tell you the ones I hated. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do. <laughs> Is there reasons that you hated I them? hated Harry Potter. Really? I hated Harry Potter. I did two and a half Harry Potters. Mad Eye Moody and Harry, one of them. That's right, yeah, yeah double, double Brandon Gleeson. Um, but why, why did you I, hate it? I hated it because we didn't really do a lot of big stunts and it was, it was a lot of <laughs> wand waving and <laughs> all this kind of, you know, you, occasionally you'd get um, blown up or magicked up or whatever the hell <laughs> we were doing. So I didn't really enjoy that film, but um, 
but great people and um, Greg Powell who was the stunt coordinator on that is a living legend so I have um, it's, it's not about the cast or crew it was just a uh, I, I wanted to be doing big stunts really and, and it wasn't really that kind of movie well, they, they weren't that kind of movies so what was your most challenging in terms of physical exertion if Harry Potter wasn't challenging enough what was that the opposite I would probably say the short film I made is probably the most challenging physically physical stunts I've done the jump out of the window was um, 36 feet to the deck um, I was on a wire but it was 30 foot of um, free fall with six foot of deceleration. So it's, it's a normal jump until you get to sort of head height. Then there's a system in the rope that slows you down, but it doesn't slow you down much from six feet. If, it, if the accelerate, deceleration had come in at so 12 feet, you'd notice it and I would, you'd see, the, yeah. see where it is. You'd notice that I would be yeah. cat caught. So we couldn't have that, I couldn't have that. So I guess that takes a lot of kind of trust in the crew that you're working with. Massive, it? massive because the person on the other end is going to a mark and if they overshoot that mark I overshoot my mark which means I just hit the floor Jesus. so I would say that was a, it was challenging because I, I was directing and because you know I was doing the whole thing directing producing wrote it that's um, your short film Faith isn't it yes where can people watch that is there anywhere there's a link on um, on my website but we can I'll include can, it in the video description yeah for sure from a endurance perspective uh, Fury was a very challenging movie uh, that's the World War II tank movie with Brad Pitt um, <clears throat> that movie was very challenging because of the conditions we we were in Oxfordshire um, but it was day in day out of knee length knee height mud um, and you're just muddy all the time you get in your car your car's muddy there's no point in cleaning it my car was muddy for six months um, so ju just from a and of course you're around tanks and you're around military vehicles and you know you've got to be careful it's very easy believe it or not to get you see a big tank you'd be surprised how after a few months working around tanks how lackadaisical people yeah. become and they just stand next to a tank while it's going past them and you're just constantly just stressing out that someone's going to get crushed by a tank yeah. <laughs> so that one and then obviously um, just training for uh, body composition for Justice League so that was another tough one. Mm. Don't really got extremely lean. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I never I never had a caliper test, but um, I kind of know where I am at most of the time, and I was I was definitely around six or seven percent. So. Who were you doubling for? I wasn't. I was playing Ares. I was oh, playing okay. A character. My bad. And that was the other. Was it, was it Sergio Constant? Sergi Constant. Yeah. That that was kind of my. I didn't know Sergi was going to be playing Zeus until about a month out when we started doing camera tests and he would come along yeah. and so I knew that on the day I'm gonna be stood next yeah. to one of the top physique guys in the world yeah. who's you know in his 20s and I was like 45 at the time so not that age really matters you know it's all about um, how you train and your commitment but it was nice that I was able to stand next to him and not look out of place you know so yeah you're good you're left handed, or not? No. Nope. Nick, as someone who met Lars when he was like really early into his lifting career, what did you think of him? What did you make of him? So like, like, fat kids fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, it's, it's true. You know, you were. <laughs> it's true. You weren't. You weren't in. The, your body composition was very yeah, like back shit, then. but I was but pretty freaky. Yeah. It was like. It, it, it was like. So <laughs> This is, go on, <laughs> give it your it's worst. Like, it's like someone had put a skinny guy in a fat suit and they still were able to do everything. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, if you put some, a parkour guy in a fat suit and then he flipped around. <laughs> he moved so incredibly well. That, and then he had this giant back strength, just, I think he just, without even trying, he was like 300 kilo deadlifter. So, um, yeah, what? it was, the, it was the combination of that. And then he was committed as well, because he'd been a sportsman before. Um, doing martial arts and ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you if you played those, they all oh, yeah. they all have um, skills that carry over to other things. And, mm. and I think that his commitment to getting good at strongmen, and you know, you, I mean, the amount of traveling you did 
just to meet, like I yeah, remember when I'd you travel anywhere, first met training. Terry or you first met, you know, Colin, Colin Bryce or whatever, you know. Back back then there wasn't like there is now where there's loads of gyms around with strongman. You had to, you know, travel pretty far to to get anything. I, I would travel anywhere to just pick people's brains and yeah. try and pick up tips. And... What's the most you've ever done on the Rolling Thunder? I have no idea. Okay. I would say somewhere between 100 and 110 kilo. You, Lassie? I did 120 a few weeks ago, which is pretty good. So it's really, this handle also bends your wrist back a little bit, which is not ideal for, because obviously when you're in the hook, you want yeah, to be yeah. here. So you got to try and fight that all the time with it a little bit. This would be a much more awkward movement for me. <laughs> But it's working that little tiny muscle in there. Well, and here obviously can support. Them. That's the one thing that really impresses me with arm wrestlers is their unique strength. Like, they're not as strong in terms of deadlifting and benching and stuff like that. Although some of them are very good benchers. But the weird strength they have in certain wrist movements is incredible. It's just, and it's on another level. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, Jesus. Is this an entertaining one for you to watch, Liz? Yeah, <laughs> this is a pretty nerdy session, <laughs> even by your standards. <laughs> hey, this is why H is still doing chest. You've got good forearms anyway. Anything for the pump, H? Absolutely, this is definitely pump. <laughs> Left's not as good as the right. So now you're starting I'm to lose it. it. I'll just go to the other hand, because you're starting to lose your wrist, right? There. So you don't want to hurt your wrist. So just come around this way. To you? Yeah. 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 Left, left hand or right hand? Uh, that's the opposite hand, right? Oh, so we did the same exercise? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go back and do... Yeah. The right is definitely stronger than the left. Table tennis, eh? I'd be surprised, Liz. Yeah. They have a table tennis set up at work. Yeah. Well, the job, last job I did, and I'm going back to in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And uh, everyone's really good, because they've been playing for a year, because they've all been on the same job for a year. <laughs> But I kind of want to take you down at some point because I'm the worst by miles. <laughs> we could teach you. Uh, could you? We could return the favour. Could you? Yeah. The serves. Yeah, that's the thing. That that's I it. If you've got a good serve, they can't deal with it. He yeah. was very good. Yeah. Junior champion, weren't you, H? Yeah. I noticed that, sir, when you go and it's just a. Well, there's a few fluke. depending on where you hit the ball. <laughs> Oh, no, now we're teaching table tennis. Yeah, didn't you just call us nerdy? <laughs> <laughs> now I, I, did, I did stuff at 16. I was like, no girl wants to shag the table tennis. <laughs> I said, let's change up. <laughs> I need to work my chest and arm. Yeah, that's kind of when I stopped playing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we could teach you. No girls just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Into this. So I was there for hours like, Harriet, look at me. The phone's not blowing out. Yeah, I, uh, the lads, I see, he probably doesn't now, but there's a lad oh, called Drinkle. Paul Trinkle He's who was pro. Yeah, I beat him. He beat me a lot more times than um, I beat him, I have to say. But I think he represented us at the Olympics. And wow. So yeah. You, hold on, you gave up the possibility of being an Olympian for girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he do it again. <laughs> neither, one, neither one paid off. <laughs> oh no, I was going to say, was it worth it? <laughs> Poor H. He was actually very, very good. Oh, I know. I think when I've you seen were 12, all the trophies. When yeah, I was under 12s champion and county men's champion. Really? Yeah. When the under 12s, under 14s, under 17s, under 21s, and the men's singles. Yeah. <laughs> all in the same comp, was yes. it? Yeah. So I can hook you up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember Stallone doing this one. In the front of the van. Was it a van? No. I've only seen it in the truck. Oh, did he have the... Yeah, I remember he the did cap. in the truck, yeah. That's a great film. Stallone's Over the a top. legend. You ever met Stallone, Nick? Um, I haven't had the pleasure, really. Not a shame. But I have stunt doubled Arnold and stunt coordinated Arnold. It's pretty cool. It's not Rocky, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Dutch. It's Arnold, you know. <laughs> A little bit nervy, isn't it? Oh, stay back. I've forgotten how many press ups I've done today. It's the one I like doing. Mm. I think we're on 80 or 90, maybe. Just 
surprised how easy this is. Yeah, it's good. Good. <coughs> I should do that, you just being a dick. It's quite good though. He asked it. He if, it. if he came back for another rep, I was going to sit on him, but <laughs> he's, he's had enough by then. We used to do stuff like that. Yeah, planks with, with each other on it. Yeah. Hitting each other while they do the planks. <coughs> yeah. You hanging off me. Yeah, on the grip hole. Oh my god. Yeah, Nick was training his grip on a like a thick bar. So we're doing like bodyweight hangs, and then he was like, just grab on. So there's me holding onto the back of him. kilos dangling off yeah. of him. He's got a strong grip, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you have your little notebook, Nick. Huh? You're definitely Always the nerdiest of the lot. Your little notebook. <laughs> Dear diary, today. <laughs> I, have, I have diaries going back to the 80s. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Right, how many strong? did you do? 15, 15, I think. Yeah. Happy to lower the reps if anyone else wants to. <laughs> I think my wrist's going to give out for my bicep. Do you think? Find it, yeah, on that one, I think. I don't know, we'll find out. It's definitely pumpy. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it. Try the max curl. Yeah. What can you do? With a straight bar? Against, bar against the wall? Bar, whichever. Um, against the wall. I've done uh, strict 75. That's good. That's very good. 60. Yeah. Like that. yeah. No, that's tough. I've done 70 with an easy bar. I've never tried a straight bar. Yeah, it's it's just a, wrist, it would so. be about the same. Yeah. Well, I, I'd struggle with the rotation of my hands. Yeah. Straight bar is not so much hard. harder doing a strict one. Yeah. So. <laughs> One hour later. Even if it's just five good ones, it doesn't have to be ten. It's that hate your challenge. <laughs> The rest of it then. It's the rest. It's yeah. the rest of it, not the bicep. Have you got a little tail in your bicep? No. Does it? This one? Just peak, Lawrence. That's a peak. <laughs> That's what peak bicep looks like. It's a comp in the geekiest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> the good thing is, your arms could be looking the best out of the three of us right now. I don't know, it makes up pretty good arms. Oh shit. <laughs> you see nice. someone the other day, really nice. In one of the comments said I've got tiny arms. No, they said you're um, really strong for someone with such skinny arms. Yeah. And everyone was like, what the fuck? Skinny arms? <laughs> They're not skinny. I don't know twenty plus inch arms are skinny. <laughs> I think at the biggest they were like twenty-two inches, but um, skinny arms apparently. So I had my picture taken next to Zadrinus and his forearm's bigger than my head. Mm. Literally. I should be getting that lovely face, shouldn't I? <coughs> in that face. I, don't, uh, I don't like going last. <laughs> Feeling the pressure. Damn. I reckon there's one more out. Just don't let go of it, Nick, alright? Oh yeah, true <laughs> Go on, 
three. Four, you got it, you got it. Go on. Got a little bit more. I got a little bit more. Come on, Nick. There we go. Proper arm wrestling, short range of motion. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> yes. Good. It's hard. It is hard. Yeah. One more plate. Just, yeah. just um, the but curls. Even if we can get three reps. One rep, two rep, three rep, whatever. <laughs> what was that? 150 now. Take the rest. Oh, he's going reverse. Now. It's pretty good. There you go. I need some rest. Can't control our wrist now. Nice. Two. Two. I think Bowser's well, got five. I got five. Pretty sure. Do you know what? I'm better at fives than I am fifteens. If we were still doing fifteens, I would have gone out ages ago. <laughs> we're just more into my rep range now. <laughs> Back. You're fucked. I think that's it. Yeah. I think we're going more, mate. We've got a little niggle here. It's all right. We can leave it there. It's fine. <laughs> I do one more plate. Just. <laughs> I think I can do one more plate. I'll try. For five. Yeah, for five. Jeez. What's the weight on this now? One seventy. Uh, 160 pounds. So 72 okay. and a half kilos. <laughs> Of course he is. Come on. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> nice. Good. Three of the most competitive people ever. <laughs> Curling. Five hours later. <laughs> yeah. um, I stole this off Devon Rat. So it's for the thumb. So I'm not sure I'm doing it exactly right. But it's kind of a pronation with a grab. So you're kind of just grabbing with the thumb every rep. It's getting nerdier, isn't it, really What do you think of this? I think this is, if I come in here, then one, two, this would be a good one for thumb walks. Thumb walks, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I can beat Lozzie on a thumb walk because I have freakishly long thumbs oh, do, compared yeah. to his little bent things. Little, little yeah. bent. Let's have go. a thumb let's, walk. Let's one, in. two, three, four. <laughs> I declare a thumb walk. One, two, three. I've done him. I've done him. I've done him. <laughs> Still training arms. Right, that's super hard. Mind your head, Lossie. If you do that, I'll be impressed. Yeah, that is hard to be fair. Watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> Nick's like, thank God. Oh, you fucking did it. That's impressive. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So what is this? Is this like a rolling thunder type? Yeah, that way's hard. That's really hard. That way, yeah. That is. No, that's fucking hard. Nick, can you explain what you've done here? <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose it is similar to a rolling thunder. So, it's called a wrist wrench. Lots of companies make them. So, the way Lars did it and picked it up was this way. Yeah, that so, wasn't too bad. This so. way is easy, though. But you know, when you put it the other the way, it's pulling, it's pulling through the hand out this way. So, it's pulling the hand out. And this is too heavy for us. Yeah, that's really heavy. Yeah. I'm gonna take a plate off. 
It's heavy. I think you'll get it. I think you'll get it. Easily. It's heavy fast. That'll do. You win. <laughs> do you concede? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Right guys, Nick, thanks for coming down buddy. It's been a, a good fun session. I actually quite like that I don't feel too battered for once after a <laughs> session. Uh, it was good fun. Just quickly tell everyone where we can get these bits of kit from. They're from all over the world, these bits of pieces. This is from Russia. This is from a company called Silarukov. Um, Dennis is the guy that you need to speak to there. He's on um, all the various social media platforms. So I guess Liz will put those on there. Then this is from Wristball, specific um, arm wrestling gear. This is Arm Assassin Strength Shop. This is an American company. This is uh, Armsmith Strength, which is uh, a very similar company, but this one's based in the UK. Um, and I think this is a one-man operation, so. I've seen a very similar bit of kit to this. It's almost like a rolling thunder that has a chain attached to it like that. Yeah. That looks... It might be the same company. Yeah, it could well yeah, be. This guy makes some really nice bits of kit. And like I say, he's one man, so worth supporting. Um, Country Crush is like kind of the gold standard for um, uh, this kind of device for arm wrestling, I guess, yeah. really. Um, everyone's, I think a lot of people have heard of those, but yeah. support the little man, support the little man. So. <laughs> Brilliant. Can people find you on social media or are you still hiding on there? I'm on Instagram under uh, uh, Nick McKinless and Beyond Strong. Awesome. So we'll awesome. put those links in. Liz, we'll put the links in. Yeah. Nick, thanks for coming down, buddy. It's awesome to see you. We'll have to get a good session in again. We'll do some proper arm wrestling together yes. once I get this comp out of the way. But thank you very much for coming down. It's been awesome, mate. No worries. Thanks for, thanks for having me, guys. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.